Welcome to On The Couch once again, and this time, uh, Cal and myself, we're joined by the head honcho out at Waverley. He's been part of the furniture for 19 years. Mike Bullock, thanks for joining us. Thank you, boys. Thank right. you. You've built an empire, Mike. Uh, Waverley, especially in the last few years, it is gathering momentum. Must make you a very proud man. I am pleased because basically um, what, we, what we did back in 1992 when I came here was that um, we got rid of all the committees in the, in the association, we decided we'd um, treat it like a business yep. and, and in fact um, we built this six court complex without any funds uh, from state governments or local governments, it's totally financed by Waverley Basketball Big effort, and yeah. so what we did was really for those years concentrate on paying the bills back, paying the stadium off, and this is why we, we, it was only in recent years that we actually started to pay any players, in fact, to play basketball. Big V presidency. Daryl Mills in the chair at the moment, has been there since about 1933. You're a <laughs> vice president. Any um, ambition to uh, turf Daryl Mill one day? Uh, Probably, because I'd probably do a better job. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, because Daryl's never here, is he? I mean, when's the last time you blokes saw Daryl Neal? Who? Never yeah, I mean, it's just hopeless. So never I, but I was on, at Easter, I was up at Castle Maine, up to Bumpy, doing there he was. He owns Scott's Fishing. Creek, though. He owns Scott's Creek. He runs that he town. Runs it. He, he runs, runs that, that town, town like Jay Z. Oh, he doesn't do. Great man, though. Great man, even though I do want his job and <laughs> no, he's not much he's good, a he's a great man. Hey, <laughs> last year's grand final series, Waverley and Ringwood. Two questions. One, crowning glory for you personally, Mike Bullock. I mean, was it? And two, did you really honestly expect to uh, to take that series going in? No. Um, that's the answer to the second part? That's the answer to the second okay. part. Yeah. Um, look, it's we've been uh, around the finals for quite a few years, but we'd be, we didn't have the players. We didn't have imports like other teams did have before us. Um, I thought this year we were very hopeful of doing well against them, but uh, we decided the only way to beat Ri Richmond, I was going to say, we decided the only way to beat Ringwood was that if we had to come out and play really hard D, put a bit of pressure on the players, and they cracked, and that's mm. what they did. They yeah. cracked. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. No doubt, it was a great win, and um, you know, if we haven't said it before, we'll say it again. You know, Waverley, it was a testament to all the work going on on and off the court last season. No doubt. Yvonne Platnick, that's, that's personal favourite is probably the, the, the loosest term. Yvonne the Destroyer, loosest term we could go with. Um, how important is he? What is your relationship with him? You know, what is he, how important, yeah, how important well, is Yvonne to your program? Look, he's extremely important. He's been with us since he was 18, as I said earlier, yeah. and um, he's just, he's just uh, so easy to work with. Yeah. Uh, the, he's a coach's dream. Uh, he just—he was our number five man for a number of seasons, playing against big guys from other clubs. But he just seems to be able to get into position to read the play. To, he continues to get rebounds all the time. Yep. Continues to score all the time. Well, obviously last season, um, Ken Harrington labelled him a flopper. Probably um, a common theme that's been passed around Big B circles since he's been around. Um, how do you, do you defend him to the death? Do you, you know, how do you cope with those sort of things on, you know, your favourite and your star player of your team? Oh, I think early in his uh, career he probably did flop a bit, but he doesn't uh, now. No flopping. No, look, no, it's no flopping. I mean, it's just it's it's intelligence. That's right. I mean, if you're going to flop and get something, why not do it? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, Kel's been trying to flop for a long time. Don't worry about that. Uh, DKD. Uh, obviously, he's over in uh, the US right now. Is it true that Kel used to come down and watch the training sessions with Dexter Kern? It's true, he loves him. Oh, it? Look, I, I was seriously worried there because um, I was trying to sort of... Uh, Dexter was sort of moving in the other direction and we had to straighten him out and get him back on the straight and narrow and concentrate on his game rather than uh, Sweet this lad here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, outstanding, Sorry about that. outstanding talent. The reason I bring up DKD is because he's one of these young kids that have come through the program. The youth teams here at Waverley now, you must be very proud because some outstanding talent coming mm. through. There's some good uh, uh, good lads coming through, and, and this is where I put all and the girls. credit. Yes, both, but their credit must go certainly in the boys' program, which is certainly stronger, and the girls' program is certainly improving now. Um, but Eric Minerve, uh, because he's had control of our under-18 boys for the last four or five years, uh, he took them to a national championship in 2009 um, and a lot of those boys have come through from then in the under 18s and they've stuck here and there's but we've had an introduction of Sudanese boys as you know as you know doubt I wanted to mention yeah. that I mean one thing that I think Waverley can be very very proud of is the way 
you know, local community and people that have uh, have come to Australia, and they've come to Australia for all different reasons, not yep. just the kids, you know, parents and, and um, the generations before. You've really embraced uh, the Sudanese community, and uh, you've got a few outstanding players down here, of course. Ding Ding leading yeah. the way at the moment. It's um, it must be something you're pretty proud of. Well, it is very much. Uh, there's a couple of clubs that here play domestically, and I must acknowledge them. One's Caulfield Malvern that plays in the competition here, yeah. and also uh, Timberwolves Club. They uh, have a number of Sudanese boys playing mm. with them, and they push them through to the program. And we do as much as we can to help them in every way off the court as well. Mm. Mm. Any final questions for uh, Mike Bully? Any final questions? Oh, I want to know I how. I want to know when was the last time you didn't have a beard. I know. No, I've always had it. That's been a lot. Always. Because Darren Neal switches it up. He, he, every now and then he'll rock up with or without one. Yeah. Yours is reasonably constant, I can yeah, see. Yeah, no, I've always had Yeah, it. since what? Yeah. 10 or 11 years of age? Uh, the no. the uh, whiskers no, started when, growing for uh, the first time? When I was about 22, <laughs> yeah, 22. I, I grew it. And <laughs> yeah. I've had it ever since I found that when I was playing cricket, oh. it stopped me from getting sunburned. Well, let's put him. Let's, let's put him. And by the way, I, just, I should tell everybody who's watching that I just. The end of last season, I played my 500th game of cricket. Yeah, well, no, we're glad you let us all know about that. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's put it on him, shall we? Let's... Right. Uh, Waverley men, yep. are you a genuine chance to win the title this season again, back to back? Uh, I'd rate us a um, 70% chance. Are you prepared to put your beard on the line? Uh, oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you. If, yep. if we win, I'll shave my beard. And... Oh, oh, yes. There awesome. you go, folks. We've yeah. got the first one up in the series and the first bet down on the table. We'll uh, we will certainly remind you of that, Mike, as the season goes on. Yep, not a problem. Good on you. Thanks for joining us on Thanks, the chat. Thanks, mate. It's a to be with that great personality. We know. Yeah, pretty, well, we're pretty good. One of us, anyway. <laughs> um, see you next time on the couch. Bye. -bye. Oh, you're going over.